principal components of the mud circulation system are as follows, mud pumps, flow lines, drill pipes, bit, mud pits, and tank including settling, mixing and suction tank. In addition, mud mixing and contaminant removal equipment which includes shale shaker, to sander, to silter and to gasser. The flow of circulated drilling mud can be described as from the mud pit via the mud mixing equipment, where various additives like wedging and viscous materials can be added into the mud, or the suction line towards the mud pumps. At the mud pumps, the mud is pressured up to the required mud pressure value. There, the mud is pushed through the standpipe, the rotary hose, and via the swivel into the drill string. Inside the drill string which is compound of Kelly, drill pipe and drill collar, the mud flows down to the bit where it is forced through the nozzles to act against the bottom of the hole. From the bottom of the well the mud rises up the annually through the drill collar and drill pipe, and the mud return line which is located above the BOP. Then, the mud is treated by the mud cleaning system consisting of shale shaker, settlement tank, desander and desilter. After cleaning the mud, the cycle is closed when the mud returns to the mud pit. Mud pumps. Nowadays, there are two types of mud pumps in use. Duplex and triplex which consists of two cylinders and three cylinders single acting respectively, being both of them equipped with reciprocating positive displacement pistons. The amount of mud and the pressure released are controlled by changing of pump liners and pistons as well as the speed in stroke per minute units. The mud pits are required to hold an excess of mud volume at the surface. Here, fine cuttings can settle and gas, that was not mechanically separated, can be released further. In addition, in the case of lost circulation, the lost mud can be replaced by mud from the surface pits. Please press the menu system button to return. Every drilling rig is required to have a hoisting system that helps in either lowering or raising necessary equipment in or out of the hole. The hoisting system consists of three major components. 1. Derrick. This is a long steel tower used in the drilling rig to provide vertical height which is required to raise or lower sections of pipes into the hole. It is the most important identifiable symbol on the drilling rig. 2. Block tackle system comprises of traveling block, crown block and the drilling line. They are used to provide a mechanical advantage that helps in handling large loads easily. 3. Draw works, it is the main operating component of the hoisting system. They are used to transmit power from prime movers to the hoisting drum that lifts the casing, drilling string or tubing string. They also transmit power to a rotary drive sprocket that helps in driving a rotary table. When moving extremely bulky or heavy loads through overhead spaces, overhead cranes which have great lifting capabilities are used. Most drilling rigs are required to operate in remote locations where a power supply is not available. Therefore, they must have a method of generating the electrical power which is used to operate the systems mentioned above. The electrical power generators are driven by diesel-powered internal combustion engines known also as prime movers. Electricity is then supplied to electric motors connected to the draw works, rotary table and mud pumps. The rig may have, depending on its size and capacity, up to four prime movers delivering more than 3,000 horsepower. Horsepower HP is an old, but still widely used, unit of power in the drilling industry. Please press the menu system button to return. The function of the rotary system is to transmit rotation to the drilling structure and consequently rotate the bit. During drilling operations, this rotation is to the right. The main part of the rotary system are as follows, swivel, rotary hose, Kelly, rotary drive compound of master and Kelly pushing, rotary table and drilling string. Swivel, it establishes a connection between the hook and Kelly, and has to be constructed or built extremely robust since it has to carry the total drill string weight and simultaneously, provide a high pressure seal being connection between flexible, non-rotating rotary hose and the rotation Kelly. Kelly, 
It's a pipe with a square or hexagonal cross section and provides the rotation of the drill string. Because the Kelly is made of high quality, treated steel, it is a flashy part of the drill string. Thus, to prevent the Kelly from excessive wear caused by making and breaking connections, a Kelly sub is mounted at the bottom end of it. In order to prevent a backward flow of the mud in case of a kick, a Kelly cock providing a backflow restriction valve is often mounted between Kelly and swivel. Rotary drive, it consists of master and Kelly pushing. The master pushing receives its rotational momentum from the compound and drives the Kelly pushing which in turn transfers the rotation to the Kelly. Please press the menu system button to return. Drilling a well is a very dangerous task because of the significantly high pressure in the reservoir, higher than 5000 psi in some cases. Therefore, in order to guarantee the safety in drilling operations and prevent undesirable accidents, a well control system must be installed. The main part of this system is the blowout preventer, BOP. This equipment is set on the top of the well bore. If suddenly there is an abrupt pressure change in the well which pushed the formation fluid up to the surface, the BOP will be closed to seal the well from blowout. Please press the menu system button to return.